Bro, what? You know some bullshit? Every time I watch that movie, I cry like I don't know what's going to happen. Why? Why? I have no idea. What like, part? We're talking when he died? Yes. Like yeah. Maybe six months at the very most. <laughs> comfortable? What do you mean comfortable? I seen you kick that one down. How hard was that to do that scene when you when the battle round came at first? Like, yeah. how, <laughs> how, how, how hard was it for you to jump on that, run from the dog, all this how we gonna show that for real you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. i think it's important sometimes to um you know show people visually how a man must feel inside yeah you get what i'm saying so you know there was a lot of shit though that couldn't go in the movie like for instance they uh they they first um, album release party for Straight Outta Compton. They wouldn't let them niggas in. They was like, "You guys are dressed like gangsters." Was yeah. like, Nigga, what the? F like, did you not get the memo? <laughs> like all of these people are here to see us. They're like, we're, we don't care. We That's we're not letting in you movie. in. I know, right? It was yeah, a bunch of shit they couldn't right. go in. So they ended up going to a restaurant like down the street. Turning up the restaurant, you know what I mean? That but turned into a party. Wow, I seen you kick that one down. How hard was that to do that scene when you when the battle round came at first? Like, yeah. how hard was it for you to jump on that, run from the dog, all this shit? How hard was it for you to jump on that, run from the dog, all this shit? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? I'm like, I've been waiting for this shit my whole life. You dig what I'm saying? So um, at first Gary was like, you know, how do you feel about everything? You feel like you need a stun dude? I, I was, was like, about to say, hell no, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what we need that for? You know what I mean? It was like, well, we already have a stun guy for you. That, that nigga making free money today. God damn it. You know what I mean? I did everything except jump from roof to roof. Because, yeah, you know, if I yeah. fuck around and break my leg, I, you know what I mean? Then the whole movie is on hold. But I was like, man, I got this. And he was like, well, let's just test it out and see what you would do naturally. Mm -hmm. I said, well, this nigga behind me. Because, like, you could... Like when he, I guess, uh, I don't even know how to say it. I, I, I want to say pretend, but that's not the right word. When he leans into it like we about to pull a jack move on you. Yeah. You know, real street niggas know. I looked at him and was like, okay, I could totally dismiss you. That's why I turned my back on him. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? But when it was like, if you react naturally, what would you do? I was like, I would push this nigga out the way. And yeah. Just f f f and I, I made up the route. You know what I mean? Wow. I made up the whole route. You know? It's hard, man. Yeah, it was. I loved it, man. Thank it you so dope. much for that movie, man. Like that, that's a hard man. I watch it. It's on. It's on the set yeah. all the time. I watch that yeah. a lot, I bro. Appreciate I like it, bro. I'm over and over again. She we got, like we got, we got our daughter to. She loves it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's man. what she watched. You did a great job. I think. You know, I think they made the perfect choice, bro. What? You know what's some bullshit? Every time I watch that movie, I cry like I don't know what's gonna happen. Why? Why? I have no idea. What like, part? We're talking when he died. Yes, like yeah. maybe six months at the very most. Comfortable? What do you mean comfortable? Yeah. Because, I mean, we was really giving it up in the moments, and it almost became funny to us that we was giving it up so hard that we was making other people cry. You know what I'm wow. saying? Like, like when Yella gave me that tape and he run out of the out of the mm -hmm. out of the hospital room, he broke down off camera. Wow. We was giving it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like it was Because you just, put your mind uh, to that's how it was back then and how he must have felt. Yeah, you have to was, be in all that emotion. That was too real. Miss Kim, the, Ice Cube wife, she just got up and left. She said, like, I don't see how y'all doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, What's your favorite part of the movie? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask you. Yeah. It got to be the hotel scene. For, yeah, for when you come reasons. out with the gun. Yeah, for many yeah, reasons. Yeah. For one, um... I saw Gary put that shit together. Like, they was mad at him that day because he was like, in the script, it just says, hotel party. She kinda preoccupied with some real nigga. Say little nigga. Wow. You know, because they, they okay. told me about all kinds of different shit and, you know, how Yella and Easy had this, like, competition happening. Like, it was so crazy. Like, both of them had both uh, slept with 10 women mm -hmm. that day and they was, like, having, like, a contest, right? So 
the bus was about to pull up and they had this chick running. Easy, easy. So he, he said, stop the bus. That nigga looked at yelling like, gotcha. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, that's the type of time they used to be on. You know what I mean? They would come to the hotel and the hotel was already packed and shit. So they was like, how do we show this tastefully without taking too much time, whatever. So it took Gary literally like five hours to stage it. Wow. You know, and then Dre came through there and was like, "Nah, this wouldn't be like this." Everybody who came in here would have you took that out and you know, nah, it, was, it was going down in this bitch, you know. So after he set the stage for us, you know, um, Gary was like, "All right." So he threw us all in the room and was like, "Everybody just get comfortable. Like, do what you would always do." The only thing that we knew we wanted to have happen was that we wanted it to be a one shot, and we wanted to get Yella having sex. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because yeah. you know he. Ultimately, ends up jumping into the porn business. Yeah, he did. Right? That's right. So, um, yeah, they he just his mind just worked. I mean, for five hours. How was right? it? Go ahead, go ahead. Go so ahead. we get to um, we get to to the end part, right? And he goes, "You can say whatever you want." What? What? <laughs> what? That's why you kind of preoccupied with some real. That's, that's some shit a New Orleans nigga that's was right. saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everybody knew at that point. He was like, oh, yeah, the New Orleans came out you right there. But w what was even more beautiful was that after we had ran the scene a couple times, you know, O'Shea went to Gary and was like, this would be the perfect Bye Felicia moment. Because a lot of people, uh, Gen Z don't know that Bye Felicia comes from Friday. They just right. see that shit all over the internet and be Bye Felicia, everybody, you know? So they had no idea that it came from Friday. Oh, so wow. as like a love letter to his pops, he was like, this is the perfect moment he did that. for me to do it. Yeah, and he just palmed old girl head and was like, Bye, Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. Bye. And it was just a natural reaction. From everybody, because nobody really knew what he was going to do. But he really pawned that girl head and put yeah. that <laughs> like, no, that shit is crazy. See, my favorite part of the show was when you had to go in the studio to rap for the first yeah. time. <laughs> that was my favorite part. And the way how they did you. Yeah. And did you actually, like, go in? Because did they put his voice over it? Or was no, that no, all no. you? That was all us. Even, even like, the, <laughs> the music that you're hearing. We worked with this guy named Harvey. Like, oh, my God. Hats off to Harvey. Because... Gary didn't believe that he could do it, but he was like, no, nah, I think I could take the actors and like remake all the music. That's for all. sure. That's all. You know, even like the album covers, everything you see is all our picture. Like it fucked us up. But we mm. had to, like during pre-production, we had to re-record the album. We had to like do all of that. And for me, it was like, oh man, it was a big step, you know? Cause being from New Orleans, it, you know, I yeah. obviously I can't go talk like myself. Right. You see what I'm saying? But I know I hit the nail on the head cause everybody was like, you. Nigga, I had niggas banging on me and everything. Nigga, where you from, nigga? Wow. Where, nigga, you, 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 you easy son, right? Like, wow. No, I wanna, nigga, I actually, I'm from New Orleans. I, I, I just I want to hear a bit. Can you do uh -huh. it? Can What's you do that? What, the, the accent? The, the song. Which oh. song was it? Yes. Oh, wee. Oui. I was watching the first song. Like right 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 the favorite right song. That's the first song he did. Um... <laughs> Cruising I know, down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that but one. But you know what's interesting? Then they say cruising. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.